Lesson 13-2, slope of a line. So this lesson moves pretty quickly because you should have seen all this before. Uh, it's good to review, and it's good in case you never really had a true understanding of slope. If I asked for three definitions of slope, what would you say? Most people go back to their middle school with the classic rise over run, also known as the change in y over change in x. In other words, how much it goes up and down. So if we pick a point, another point, do our triangle thing again, this would be the change in y, this would be the change in x, and that's the classic definition of slope. And still others remember the definition, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So slope is just the steepness of a line, the direction it takes, things along those lines. What letter do we use? We use the letter M. It's a great question, why? Look it up if you'd like. There's no definitive answer. Something it's from the French word for hill. But they really don't know. My two cents is that they're running out of letters. They can only use there's only so many letters they can use for things, so they to use something. M's as good as anything. Uh, and then the actual formula to find slope we actually did up above. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Now, does it matter which order we put them in? No, as long as we're consistent. So if you're going to subtract, this would also be y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Keep them in order. For me, I just look at them and just do it in my head, and then I recognize what direction the line is traveling and go from there. I'll explain that in a minute. So the slope here, and again, I, I have to graph it. I, I could get by without, but I just don't think it's a good idea. It's down here. So we got a line like this, which tells me, and I'll talk about this in a minute, should have a positive slope. So slope is negative 7 minus 1, negative 5 minus 3, negative 8 over negative 8 equals 1. It's positive. It goes up to the right at a 45 degree angle. Fair enough. So now another job for you. Sketch a line with slope negative 3 that goes through the point 2, negative 5. And a lot of people go all algebra on this, but you really don't need to. Just use a little bit of common sense. So 2, negative 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. M equals negative 3 right over 1. Well, that's my change in Y over my change in X. So down 3, 1, 2, 3, to the right 1. Or up 3, 1, 2, 3, to the left 1. Connect the dots. There's a sketch of a line. These are the types of problems you need to be able to do fairly quickly to understand how slope is put together. Now the rest of this is just a few things to know about slope. Lines of positive slope go up to the right, as I showed in the last two examples. And lines of negative slopes go down to the right.
So that's a negative slope. That's a positive slope. They could be fairly flat or fairly steep. We'll talk about that in a second. But I don't really put up with people who get their slope wrong and don't do a quick double check. This is a slope of two thirds, one, something like that. It's a slope of negative one half, negative three fourths, something like that. So if you don't do a quick check when you graph something, and you're just asking for trouble. So lines with a fractional slope, they're flatter. Lines with large values are steeper. Notice they could be positive or negative. So by flatter, I mean like this or negative or positive. And by steeper, I mean like this. More vertical. Flatter is more horizontal. And again, you should be checking as a positive slope up to the right, great. It's a fraction, it's one third, one half, one fifth. Should be a little flatter. Oh, it's 7 or 8, 9.6. Should be more vertical. Always check when you're done. And last but not least, slope of a vertical line. Right here. Well, the y is infinite and the x is 0, since we can't divide by 0, and m is changing y over changing x, we get undefined. And down here we have a horizontal line. Well, x goes forever, so it's an infinite number, and the y is 0, so we get a slope of 0. It causes untold confusion. It's a new Mnemonic I've seen, slope guy. And his nose is the undefined slope. His mouth is the zero slope. Hence the little zeros on the corners, hence the little U under the nose. Up to the right is the positive slope. And down to the right is the negative slope. And I agree that slope guy does not look too happy. Then again, you wouldn't either if your whole existence was to help people understand slope. That's it. Get going on problems. And remember, when in doubt, graph on a coordinate plane. Saves so much time and aggravation to see the picture. Good luck.